We're just three months away from the launch of Parker Solar Probe. We have one last test to do for our instruments on the spacecraft, and that's to take our qualification model of the Solar Probe Cup, put it in this chamber behind me, and simulate an encounter with the sun. look at an old school analog 70 millimeter IMAX film projector that has a bulb full of xenon. It heats up to about the same temperature as the surface of the sun. We have to combine four projectors to get the total amount of sunlight and the, the angular size of the sun correctly. But we shine that merged sunlight in through this uh, window into the chamber and illuminate the instrument with it. Outside the vacuum chamber, we have this uh, dull looking metal box here which is actually a replica of the spacecraft. So the instrument actually thinks it's on the spacecraft, talking to the spacecraft, sending it telemetry. We're, we're now very much simulating the real sun environment. Uh, the next steps, now that the chamber pressure is dropping, uh, we can bring our ion gun or particle accelerator on and see if the instrument functions. So now that we've turned on the instrument, it's reporting internal diagnostics. And one of the things we're seeing is the electronics are actually pretty warm. We really don't have a, a lot of time to do our test before the electronics uh, risk overheating. So we're going to have to move pretty quickly. Chamber pressure is a little on the high side, which is fine. But the particle accelerator actually has its own circuit that won't allow us to enable the accelerator if it thinks the pressure is too high. So we've got to basically flip a switch to override that interlock device so we can turn the particle accelerator on. Meanwhile, the temperature of the electronics box keeps rising. We managed to just correctly reprogram the interlock so the particle accelerator is not being inhibited from uh, turning on. We're going to set up a data display so as the instrument scans through voltage, uh, we'll see if there's a, uh, an ion beam or not. Yep. Oh, hey! Nice. All right. <laughs> ah, look at that. So beautiful. That's a nice, really strong signal. If you look, uh, you know the signals coming in really clear, really strong, coming in at the exact same uh, energy uh, every time. And we've reached a point where the instrument is able to outperform the conditions that the chamber is capable of recreating, um, which is about as good as it gets. What more do you want when you're trying to show that an instrument's going to operate in an extreme environment than to build the best test facility you can to recreate that environment and then see if the instrument's able to outperform that? Yeah, we're going to the sun. We're going to the sun. Ah, that's exciting. <laughs>